Early morning walking after a resupply yesterday. Got a big bag of food, so luckily it's mostly downhill today. I was up early and walking this morning, headed down into Foose Creek. So here's gut hooks for the day. Green Circle's my dry camp, just a couple miles out of Monarch Pass. I'm headed to the Angel of Chavano Trailhead. Well, good morning. Day seven, I think day seven after I resupplied. I woke up this morning and figured it out. You got bear berries. These are called wax currants. They're yummy. Yeah, morning snack. Oh, so I've mostly left the saw watch behind. I'm gonna make this loop. Come back up this side. That's looking out. Gunnison's out there in that valley. Yeah. About 25 degrees early this morning. First morning that is proper cold. I'm wearing my gloveys. All right, for sure. Last of the divide. My turn to go down, 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 3,000 feet down Foose Creek. It's just around the hill in front of me. So I will bid adieu to the Continental Divide Trail. It'd be super fun to come back and walk this 80 miles south to north. Maybe I'll do that next year. A lot of mountain bikers use this section of the trail. Uh, if you can, I would work your time in so you hit this from Monarch down to Foose Creek and down Foose Creek on a weekday, not the weekend. Oh, a little uphill there. Got winded. Day seven, 8 a.m. This is my last two miles or so of walking on the Continental Divide. I'm about to make a turn in a mile or so to the east and the north, drop into Foose Creek. I'm at 12,000 feet right now. I'm gonna descend all the way, just a little below 9,000 feet. It'll be the first time I've been below 10,000 feet in days. It'll be awesome. This is where the Collegiate West meets the Collegiate East. I'm gonna make a left turn here and go down, down, down Foose Creek. That puts me on the Collegiate East. Those Continental Divide Trail hikers I hiked with for a couple days, they're all headed south here. This quarter mile starting down into Foose Creek is one of the steepest and loosest parts of the trail. It's not too bad, but I'll be happy when I get down there to the trees where it's a bit flatter. Oh, we may have to stop and do some panning or fishing. Foose Creek. cruising this morning 3,000 feet downhill in like eight miles this is cruiser happy to get down here where the flowers but also from water it was a good few hours after dry camp last night and I had enough water 
but at that altitude I need to drink a lot so happy to get back down to the water at the creek yay butterfly These are rose hips. I like to snack on rose hips while I'm walking now. There's a lot of different red berries on the trail. If you don't know exactly what SWAT, don't eat them. But I know quite a few pretty well. These rose hips have tons of vitamin C. They're good for making tea. Earlier in the season, mullein flowers with rose hips. One of my favorite teas. But I'm just kind of snacking on these and throw a few in a teacup at nighttime with my herbal nighttime tea yums all the vitamin c leaves aren't changing as much down low i'm almost back down to the highway 50 crossing i think any day now looking nice First road walking in a long time. Road walking, road walking, road walking in the Aspens. South Foose Creek Road. Woo! -hoo. I thought about going for a proper swim when I got down to this little reservoir. This is just before getting to Highway 50, uh, but I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to the cold water, so. Cool off the legs, cool the feet, call it good. All right, at the low point, coming up from Highway 50. It's like desert down here. I'm ready to be back up high. From the highway, there's about a four mile climb of 1,200 feet. And then it's about a mile, mile and a half, not too far back down into the Angela Chavanaugh trailhead. It's tomorrow when we start gaining elevation again. So 17, 18 miles today, but a pretty easy day. Oh, hey y'all, it's the end of day seven. I'm too tired to get up to show you around because I I'm sitting on a nice comfy picnic table. That's two days in a row. I found a picnic table up at the top of the ski resort yesterday. Did about an 18 mile day today into the Chavano, Angela Chavano Trailhead and Campground. And I think I'm availing myself of the group picnic area at the moment. I'm just gonna chill here for a while, wait till it gets dark and move over into the woods and go to sleep. Ah, cause it's nice to have a table. We are having a cheddar broccoli rice sides tonight with a bunch of beef jerky boiled in the water with it. And while that was cooking, I'm having hot chocolate with a dash of Neato, that's full fat milk and coffee. Oh yeah, I had tired feet today. Probably the easiest day. Anyway, seven days in a row without taking a break, I think it's making my feet tired, so. Yep. Well, it's pretty scenery down here in this hole. So I walked on the ridge for like three miles this morning up close to 11,000 feet. 
And then I came all the way back down to 9,000 feet. Like I am down low, down low. So luckily it's mid, mid September. It wasn't too hot. I was on the south facing slopes today and uh, full sun, but I think ambient temperature outside is probably 65. So it was pretty nice. Anyway, I'll check in again before bed. Probably when I get camp set up. I'm gonna set up back yonder in the bushes somewhere. All right. It wasn't just my feet that was tired. I got camp set up and went right to sleep. Didn't shoot another photo or take another video. So here's a fox from about a week after the trail visited my camp. Foxes and Fritos. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you again soon for day eight.